first of all, it's very important to uh, implement um, a dialogue when you, when you work on shared leadership. There's a lot of stakeholders that need to be involved. At policy level, we have to train and support the schools in the idea of shared leadership so that teachers feel they play an active role and so they support to the school leaders' projects and actions involving the whole education community. We have to stimulate teachers to develop professionally. Taking up responsibilities in school can be seen as a manner to address the flat teaching career and to grow in their job and their school. This is a means to create new pathways for teachers in schools. Promoting training of schools in the area of shared leadership is probably one of the main aspects that should be implemented by policymakers. Share good examples of schools that have distributed leadership at their core with good examples uh, because other directors like to see practical and clear examples that shared leadership can and should be promoted. I do think on a policy level that we can support the transition towards shared leadership and teams with a shared uh, vision by supporting courses and professionalization that includes information on how to, how to guide a team, how to coach a team. Not only for school directors, but also for uh, different target groups, target groups such as school uh, teachers and um, ICT coordinators and so on. As policymakers, we have to refocus our communication strategies. When talking about leadership, we can't address merely school leaders, but also need to appeal to teachers and other school staff taking up leadership, ro leadership roles. For me, a multi-layer change in minds and practices is essential to stimulate expertise to be shared and developed among teachers. Schools should also be given the opportunity for definitely to define the, the, their task, the task to be accomplished, to a larger extent of what happens today, where they have to respect uh, national curricula uh, relatively abstract. If the schools boards realize that shared leadership can help in time of crisis, as this pandemic situation showed to everyone, that should be the main guidance to be promoted by, 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 by policymakers. And if shared leadership works well in crisis time, in normal time will be very effective also. The school leadership must integrate all agents of the school community and give a voice to teachers, students and parents on their strategic lines and elements that should be part of the educational project of the uh, educational centres. There's also the question of recognition and incentives. If a teacher is put in a leadership role without a proper recognition, without a clear mandate or without another incentive, then it's only more work for the same conditions and this is a pitfall. And then finally, official recognition on shared leadership starts with defining and sharing a common school vision and a mission so that each person in the school community knows how to act for a common goal and pushes in the same direction. The schools as organizations have to create an environment of trust and active participation so that all teachers feel involved in the school community and everybody feels that his or her voice is heard. I think that they do to, to be given the opportunity of uh, follow uh, webinars, for example. Main uh, subjects are STEM education, which is of uh, outstanding importance in Italy. There's the importance of the school dialogue between the school leadership team, between the school board and between the teachers team. But when you change the leadership, leadership style in a school, this will also affect the pupils. So the involvement of pupils and parents and the wider school community is also very important. It's really important that you see that co-decision and participation are key elements. The partnership work between everyone at school with well-defined tasks, the importance of intermediate leaders and the weight that they add in this whole process, if well explained to other schools, will be an excellent asset. The fact that the five high schools that have uh, collaborated in the project are so satisfied with the results make us think 
that we have to promote that every year more and more schools have to be trained and to integrate the values of shared leadership in their educational organizations. Thank you.